Here's another update to our Avid CNC painting apparatus project. Uh, it looks like a mess right now, but I guarantee you there's a method to this madness. So these are the paint reservoirs. This is where we're gonna pour in all of the paint. And we'll be able to do four colors or a couple colors in black and white or something like that. And the paint drips down into these tubes, which goes through these valves. And these valves connect to this weird thing down here, which I'll explain. So this box shaped thing down here is like a squeegee and this will drag across the canvas and all of the valves will connect to it so that the paint will drip inside of this square. These grooves on the side are for the valves to bolt onto. And this whole thing is basically on a hinge so that it can move up and down in case the canvas isn't perfectly flat or perfectly smooth. But I think this might need to get some springs to actually add some force so it stays down most of the time. Right now the tolerances are, are really loose so everything is kind of shaky and not working correctly. So we're gonna have to print this up a few more times to get it correct. So in general though, it should work like this where the square is coasting across the top of the canvas. But you can see at some angles, the bottom square part is kind of pitching up or, and not staying flat against the canvas, which we need to fix. And obviously all of these valves need to be hooked up. They're just kind of hanging out here for now. So one of the reasons why we're making it this way is so that we don't have to get proper clearance or proper Z height on the spindle. We can essentially move it up to a general position and this will self level on, onto the canvas. So this is definitely over engineered. It's gonna take a lot of iteration to get it working properly, but we're making good progress and it's kind of fun. Feel free to check out our other previous videos and we'll have more updates on this soon. Cool, thanks.